Are you struggling to make any simple line in DaVinci Resolve? If you are, you came to the correct place. In this video, you will learn how to make a simple animated line in DaVinci Resolve 18. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video. The first thing that you guys want to do is go ahead and grab your background. For my example, I'm going to be choosing this background for my video now we want to go into our fusion tab your fusion tab might not look like this your fusion tab might look something like this our main goal right now is to make this image as wide as we could as big as we can so what we could do is go ahead and stretch this all the way towards the left and in the fix tab click on it and it should be removed now we could go ahead and mess with the sizing and as soon as you see that it starts shrinking go a little bit towards the left our main goal is to trace over this line so what i'm going to do is zoom in a little bit not too much but just a little bit now on median one we want to click on shift space and search up for paint make sure to select the one that ends with p and t and simply click add now we want to select the polyline stroke which is this one that has a curve now you might be a little bit overwhelmed right if it's your first time going to fusion or you don't really go into fusion that much but i would try to ease you in so what you guys want to do is on your color basically select the color of your line for this example i'm going to be choosing yellow on stroke controls we have a whole bunch of options but right now we are going to be only focusing on two on our size and spacing so let's make a line if we left click and left click so this is how our line will look if we don't mess with any of our settings i'm not a big fan of this blur line i'm more of a crisp line type of person if you want to say so the option is to go towards the left and this is how your line should look now let's say you want a dotted line what we could do is just go towards the right and it should look something like this now of course depending on your line depending on your sizing this might change but you get the gist of it right if you go towards the right you have your dotted line if you go towards your left you have your crisp line the only thing i don't like about this effect is like let's say let's go back towards the beginning let's say you want to make your line right and you trace this boom 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 and you see that it's a it's a little bit too wide for your liking if you click on sizing it's not going to do what you want it to do and it's just going to go out of order and that's not what we want so i would highly recommend just to play around with these settings make a couple of lines do like something like this and until you find your correct sizing you could always just go back with Control z before you trace your line Play around with the stroke, see where you want it, pay attention to these numbers. And once you're ready, go ahead. So that's what I'm actually gonna do right now. Here's a quick tip. If you see like a little curve, I would honestly recommend you to skip over it and holding your left click, you could actually adjust this like this. And it doesn't look that bad of a line. So it's just like a little pro tip. So if you're new to DaVinci Resolve or to any like software like that, it might be kind of confusing but for people that use like photoshop or adobe illustrator this tool is actually well this is just like something normal for a lot of people so you could go like this and your curve lines were actually going to be curved so like i said all you want to do is just skip to like the edge right here and like over here once it starts dipping down hold it and just play around with this and of course you could always take your time and make this lane perfect which i would highly recommend you to do but if not it's no big deal it's your first tutorial it's your first line you will eventually learn how to do this and in a matter of pretty much seconds this effect should be done in the future and it looks something like this now if we go to our timeline we actually have a line but wait there's no movement because we forgot to do one thing. And this thing is to go to the beginning of your keyframe and on right on, go all the way towards the left. And now make sure to click on this keyframe. And towards the end of your clip, on right on, we want to go all the way towards the right. And we go to the beginning of our clip and do this on full screen. We can see we have this animated line. And to be honest, it doesn't look that bad. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, 
don't forget to please subscribe and hit the button and see you guys later. Take care guys.